let's see if we can apply the method developed or outlined previously. Okay, we have this equation. We can solve this equation if we multiply both sides by what? Well, if we multiply by e to the integral of p of t dt. Now, in solving the homogeneous equation, we use the integral uh, e to the negative integral p of t dt, and we use that as our uh, y function. In this case, we're doing something different. We're trying to solve the non-homogeneous equation, and we're going to multiply by e to this integral, and the preceding uh, clips should have demonstrated why that is. But in any case, this is what we do, and what do we get? We get e to the integral p of t dt y prime plus e to the integral p of t dt y, um, and I left out the p of t, so I'm going to sneak that in there, p of t y equals e to the integral p of t dt times g of t. The left hand side is going to turn out to be just the derivative of e to the integral p of t dt times y, as we can demonstrate in general by taking the derivative of this. Okay, uh, and let's see, that's equal to the derivative of this. Now what's the derivative of this expression? Well, the derivative is e to the integral p of t dt prime times y plus e to the integral p of t dt times y prime. What's the derivative of the integral of e to the integral of p of t dt? Tried to improve my e, and it looks like I've made it into something that looks a lot like a c, or even the old Pac-Man creature. Okay, now, if we take the derivative of e to the integral p of t dt, what do we get? We get the integral of p of t dt prime multiplied by e to the integral of p of t dt. Okay, and then that's multiplied by y. And then this is plus e to the integral p of t dt times y prime. Now the integral of p of t dt prime is just p of t times the integral e to the p of t dt times y plus e to the integral p of t dt times y prime. If we factor out the integral of e to the p uh, of, of p of, if we factor out the integral of p of t e to the t dt, we get p of t y plus y prime, showing that the derivative of this is indeed the left-hand side of this equation.